Okay, this is section 1.2. 17, we're supposed to figure out the domain. Now, we have division here, and you can never divide by zero. <clears throat> so we don't want x squared plus 9x minus 22. We don't want it to equal zero. So let's find out what makes it zero. And if we factor this or use the quadratic formula or graph it, you find out, factoring here, this is plus 11 and minus 2. So what makes it 0 would be, <coughs> excuse me, negative 11 or positive 2. And so that's what x cannot equal. So the domain would be all reals. <coughs> Excuse me. Except uh, negative 11 or 2. Or you might write it in interval notation from negative infinity up to negative 11 union from negative 11, not including, no brackets, up to 2, not including 2, union, not including 2, up to infinity. That would be interval notation for it. All right. Uh, 19, we're supposed to evaluate f of minus 1, 0, 2, and 4. Well, negative 1 is in this window, so we'd use negative 1 in here, and we'd get f of negative 1 would be negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. f of 0, 0 is in this window, so we use this equation. 7 times 0 plus 6 is 6. f of 2, 2's in this window, so 7 times 2 is 14, plus 6 is 20. And f of 4, four is in this window also, so 7 times 4 is 28, plus 6 is 34. All right, I'm supposed to do it again with this one. Minus 1 is in this window, so negative 1 squared is 1, minus 2 is negative 1. So f of minus 1, negative 1, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. f of 0. 0 is in this window, so 0 squared minus 2 is negative 2. f of 2, 2 is in this window, so 2 minus 5 is negative 3. The absolute value of that is 3 plus 4 is 7. And f of 4 4 is in this window, so 4 minus 5 is minus 1. Absolute value would be plus 1, plus 4 is plus, is plus 5. Okay, and then 23. So f of 1, negative 1, negative 1 is in this window, so... 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. So f of negative 1, using this equation, because we're in this window, is negative 5. f of 0, 0 is in this window, and f of 0 would be 3. And f of 2 2's also in this window. It's between 0 and 3, so 2 gives us 3. 
and f of 4. 4 is in this window, so 4 squared is 16. And one more problem that people had trouble with. I'm supposed to write a formula for this piecewise in number 25. So, the first window, if I'm working from left to right, the first window is from minus 6 to minus 1. Minus 6, less than or equal, because the solid dot, is less than the x's, and the x's are less than or equal to negative 1, solid dot, so equal there. And the y value for all that is 2. So it's 2 if, and we'll call this f of x, or whatever we want to call it, it's 2 height, y coordinates, 2. y coordinate for the x's is 2 if, we're between minus 6 and minus 1. From minus 1 to 2 is the next window. And we're not equal on the minus 1 side, but we are equal on the 2 side. And that height is negative 2. As long as the x's are between minus 1 and 2, we have a height, the y height of 2. And the y height here is negative 4. If we're in the window from 2 to 4, not including the 2, but including the 4. 2 up to 4, including 4. There's the function for 25.